Hello everybody, welcome back. Medium Kim here, so happy that you're here. I am talking about colors today and how, and how colors can affect your health and healing and change your vibration and change just the way you feel as well. Also, at the end of the video, since I have reached over a hundred subscribers, yay hoo hoo hoo! Uh, we're going to have a drawing for it'll be a one-hour uh, group reading, and it, so a celebration mediumship circle, and there will be seven winners, and so we'll do that at the end, as well as a little celebration dance. And so, if you don't want to dance, you, and I'm probably going to really embarrass myself, but the dance we're going to actually do the daily energy routine as a dance, okay? You can do it to any song. I'm going to be using my, my sister who sings, and I'm hopefully, um, I won't have any trouble with uh, YouTube because um, she's the one that sang the song. So, or her, actually, it's her husband. And I want to give out some shout outs to uh, Intuitive You, Kim Carey, for hosting me on her show. Thank you so much, Kim. Really appreciate that. It was so kind of you, and I really enjoyed it. And uh, you're just awesome um really a wonderful heart it's it's obvious that you have such a wonderful giving heart and also your daughter cassie who edited the video thank you to you cassie big shout out and i know you guys just did a video video today <clears throat> on dark and uh light i think or evil and light and then thank you also to Susan Lynn, psychic medium Susan Lynn, who has been a teacher, helper, mentor to me. Um, and I know she sent some people my way, and I so appreciate that, Susan Lynn. She's awesome. She's a wonderful medium. And I have had a reading from her. Actually, I've had a reading from Kim as well. And they're both awesome. So uh, with Susan, yeah, I hope we get to do a... Um, a meeting together sometime soon probably next month I can't I'm pretty busy right now <laughs> I'm trying to get the hang of this so all right guys on colors I have my notes with me today because there is a lot of um, I just don't want to get too distracted uh, and go off track so much and so I am gonna be looking at some of my notes all right so here we go first of all colors Everybody knows probably that colors are significant because if you notice, restaurants will have red, you know, to help increase your appetite. Some places have blue for calming. Schools, uh, the Waldorf School has pink in their kindergarten room for it's more of a mother, mothering feel. The pink brings a, a very loving feel, warm and soft and cozy. You know, you gotta have that for the kindergartners. I remember third grade was green. I don't remember the other colors right now. Um, look at the Buddhist temples. They have a lot of yellow and gold and orange. And, and then the, the Catholic church has a lot of purple. Actually, so does Episcopal. So I think a lot of the churches have um, purple as a very spiritual color. Uh, oh, the, the Native American medicine wheel has the, the four directions. There's a color for each one of those. The Chinese medicine wheel has colors for each of those directions as well. Um, let me see. Oh, funerals. We wear black, right, when we go to funerals. So what is that about? Um, and then angels. I notice uh, when I see angels, they have co they're in color, usually. I see gold ones. I've seen white ones, blue pink, green, um, the rainbow, pretty much. The only time I've ever seen black, what I would call, they're not angels, but I've seen black spots and I've seen black entities and they were not doing anything good. Let me just put it that way, all right? And we can talk about that sometime. I noticed that the archangels, they all have the color and I call it the rays. And then Mike, Archangel Michael comes in the blue ray. Mother Mary is in a lighter blue ray. Uh, Archangel Raphael in the green healing ray. Jesus I usually see is white with a little gold, um, you know, so it can go on and on. And by the way, uh, Diane at, uh, Diane's Tarot has uh, done a great angel class, if you get a chance to see it, in her, uh, um, in her community group. Um, and I took that. It was wonderful. So thank you, Diane, for that. And if you're watching, thank you. And let's see here. Okay, so colors do vary with our vibration. And actually vibration shows up as color 
and energy is vibration and vibration is also color so it's all just like one thing um, and the ancient mystics used color so it's been the thing about color is it is important we all have our own favorite color like what's your favorite color right you ask your the children what's your favorite color so we know that colors do affect us and um, sometimes when we feel depleted maybe our colors are down a little bit I have an example of um, a, med a medicine changing a color I was I was one of my hospice patients she was wearing a fentanyl patch it's a pain patch and um, she was having dizziness uh, and we thought maybe it was the patch because uh, she was falling a lot and, and really really having a hard time <clears throat> so uh, we decided to change the patch just to make just to see if it was the patch doing it so at that time I wasn't even really seeing colors that much but when I took the patch off I was just the the as soon as I took the patch off uh, she turned from gray around her body to blue I mean it was like that that fast the patch is gone and the colors change so we knew the colors change and you hear this with our aura the 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 aura colors change minute to minute, although we are born with a life color. And that life color is like your blueprint for your life. Like for, and there's a, then we could talk all about that as well. Um, but it's kind of like your, if you, if somebody says to you like five times or three times, they say, well, uh, I see blue around you or I see yellow around you. Well, you know, that's probably your life color that they're seeing. Now, then our chakras, of course, change colors and our chakras may not match the rainbow that they that we often see in the diagrams, right? It may not be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white. It may not. OK, some people might have blue in the second chakra. So just know that it changes around. Not everybody's the, the perfect example of that diagram. All right. So let's see here. And also there are colors are what people feel, you know, that energetic feel that you that you feel from somebody, you can pick up their colors. We pick up colors from our environment, from our the colors in our house, the colors that we look at on the wall. I was telling Kim Carrie the other day that yellow used to make me lose energy. I could not even look at a yellow plate. I would get weak. I could tell it was my spleen meridian. That's when you know when I'm very in tune with my meridians. It was I knew it, and I could test it. It was my spleen meridian that would go out with yellow. All right, I couldn't wear it. I couldn't look at it. I couldn't even eat up from it on a plate. So we all probably have something like that. Depends on how sensitive we are. All right, and you know by the way, talking about funerals again. I know people wear black a lot, but I do not <laughs> you might guess i sometimes wear i have a pink skirt or you know something like that i'll wear different things i don't necessarily wear black as you know i believe that it's a celebration so um okay that's just beside the point um so i want to show you some drawings that i have done uh of auras i have in the past done some color these are with crayons by the way i use a waldorf beeswax crayons and this is a person you guys might know um, that's Psychic Violetta. She doesn't know I did this. I hope this is okay, Psychic Violetta. This is what I thought your aura looked like <laughs> around your face anyway. And this person is Marie from Marie's Table. Um, you can see she's got the blue in her throat was very strong, but she's got a really green healing uh, field around her. Psychic Violetta, by the way, she has a lot of purples and blues with a gold on the outside, like protection. But the purples and the blues, uh, which would be, um, well, nurturing, uh, spiritual development. And then Marie, is it's, it's like love and compassion, you know, with this green here, the heart energy, and then her throat is actually pretty darn good. I'll show you one more. Um, oh yeah, you guys know this person too. Adam Schiff. Look at Adam Schiff. How amazing. This is when he was doing the trial. I um, did his pictures. Pretty powerful. Okay, I don't know. That you can see he's got a lot of different colors. Healer. He's uh, spiritual. He's um, uh, nurturing. 
I mean, okay. Um, here's another one. Okay, I'll show you another one or two. You guys might know this man, barely see it. Charles Kelly, he's a medium. He does a lot of teaching. You can see on one side, there's a spirit like on one side that's kind of coming really close to him, but he's a lot of purple in there. All right, uh, let's see if this other one is a good one. Mm, one more. Well, no, that's okay. That's enough for right now. <laughs> so we, we just have you know, our color and they can change, right? So we can change our colors just with a thought because what happens, our chakras, which hold our emotions, if we're feeling very emotional or something very strong, it's gonna show up in the chakra and it's gonna shift and change. Okay, now, let me see here. So, talk about some basic color vibrations. Now, remember, there's, I don't even, don't know how many colors there are. I don't know if there is a limit, because we of the, of the basic colors, you can make more colors, and then you have the shades and the lights of those colors. So, um, let's just say you're seeing blue around somebody, it may, mean something different with that person versus with another person. So sometimes they have multiple meanings. It's not, it's not all just strict. So if you are one to notice a person's color, either with um, your spiritual eyes, with your eyes closed, with, or you know the color, or you're sensing it with your eyes closed, feel into it as well, and then you can maybe get, pick up what that vibration, what that ray is representing. What is it about? Because red, there's all kinds of reds, right? Um, and sometimes I see color outside, you know, uh, uh, objectively. Objective versus subjective. Subjective is inside myself. Objective is I see the color around the person with my eyes open. Sometimes it happens, it's not always, but sometimes. Um, I'll give you an example of something that was kind of that was recent, and I told this to Kim the other day after our, after our talk. Um, I was at a patient's home. He, uh, the man, um, he was only in his 50s, unfortunately he was, he was on hospice, but there was a huge blue being in his room on the corner, just a couple feet away from him. And I really could not tell, unfortunately sometimes I see the colors, I don't know, I don't always get the name. Um, but I felt like it was Mother Mary, and it was really big. And as she came in, though, it felt like she had wings too. So, but it was too big to be the everyday angel. I knew it was an important. And he actually was very attached to Mother Mary. So, if you are um, attached to certain colors, or if you are uh, surrounding yourself with certain colors, you're going to pick that up in your field as well. Okay. Um, but also, Archangel Michael is blue, and the color was a little bit on the lighter blue. So that's why I was leaning toward um, Mother Mary. But that's, okay, that's beside the point. So anyway, I left him, I went to the living room talking to his sisters, he has three sisters. And as one of, and we got into a spiritual conversation because we were talking about the blue angel and then we, you know, we just, and as the, they were telling me some amazing stories about what spirit had, had um, shown them. Anyway, one of the sisters was, was talking about one of her spiritual stories, and I saw her around her uh, green. It was like lighting up green with a gold on the outside, and I felt like it was also in her heart, outside and in her heart. And so I told her, I said, I'm seeing green and gold around you, and she said, those are my house colors. Those are some of my favorite colors, and I have that all through my house. So that was interesting. So I'm wondering, you know, either you pick the colors in your house that are yours already naturally, or you're absorbing those colors that happen to be there. You see, I think it's a two-way street. I um, hope that makes sense. <laughs> and her other sister, I looked at her, and I said, well, I see blue and green around you. Um, and she said, well, those are my favorite colors, and that's what I have in my house. So, and then the other sister, I said, I see pink around you. And she said, well, that's my favorite color. <laughs> so interesting about that. I want to say, I bet you, as a general rule, that, um, and I'm basically, this is my experience um, oh, on, these, on the color situation here. I mean, on the, what I'm teaching you today. <clears throat> but 
um, I know my thought on that, on the, um, oh yes, so that we, <laughs> sorry, oh my God, <laughs> it's been a long week. Um, we are attracted to colors that natu naturally are in our field, that we feel at home with, right? The, look in your closet, what do you notice? There's a pattern, I mean, I'm sure you already, you don't even have to look in your closet, you know what your pattern is. What do you feel when you go to the store? What colors are you drawn to? Now, it could be different than what you look good in, right? Because it depends on whether you're of a cool tone or a warm skin tone. But for the colors for your auric field and what in your energy uh, vibration, you're going to draw to ones that you need for your balance. Okay, so I'm going to just go over a little bit of the... Um, from my perspective, and some of this is general knowledge. Okay, so the basic color vibrations, gold is about sacred protection and spiritual knowledge. I, and you know, the gold is all around Jesus, is all around Mary, you know, all the, in a lot of the angels, you see the gold halos. All right, so gold is pretty special color. Red, it's about the earth, the red ray from the earth. It's power, strength, grounding. And some people say, actually, um, Colin Bates, who's one, uh, one of my men, mediumship teachers, says you should wear red when you do a reading so you stay grounded. And I, some, I know some people who really do that. Pink is a, a, a variation of red. And if somebody is trying to ground and red feels too strong, you can go to pink. Um, it especially, it's helpful if... Um, you've had power struggles in your life and red might feel too, um, too strong. So you can use pink to ground. All right, yellow, yellow is about power, new, newness, wisdom, sunlight, you know, it's, it's strength, it's strength as well. But power, you know, and it's our power center in the solar plexus. Orange is about excitement, New things, new adventures, creativity, new beginnings, orange. Green, it's about love. It's about love and compassion to others. It's a healing heart. It can also be about money. It can be about health and it can also represent nature. And I get green a lot when I'm reading from, for somebody and they are Irish <laughs> or there's a connection to Ireland. Okay, turquoise, I think of turquoise as in the high heart and it's about speaking before speaking your heart, right? And here's a little story about the turquoise ray or the, uh, the topaz ray. I was at a retreat. Uh, this is maybe eight years ago. And I was working with somebody one-on-one. -on -one, and all of a sudden, this turquoise ray basically came in and told me that I am part of the turquoise ray and which was, was brand new to me but and it also that it, this energy told me that i do not have to buy anything turquoise i don't have to wear anything turquoise i can just imagine turquoise and that will be just as good as anything else like but of course what did i do the next day i went out and bought some turquoise turquoise uh, topaz earrings oh well <laughs> but um, anyway, just know that that's interesting. So the, the topaz or the turquoise ray, it, it is about, um, I, I also it is about the throat chakra speaking from the heart. And it also works on the third eye too. Okay, the indigo color, um, which is a, the uh, little darker blue, you know, it's about the throat speaking up, wisdom away, and awareness and I also think of it even representing the pineal gland. But you know, the pineal gland is up here, but this, this whole throat area is actually where all the chakras have chambers that go through the throat. The throat's a really important area that you wanna keep clear and clean. All right, the violet ray. It's about spiritual wisdom, spiritual seeking, um, sacredness, and religion um, and by the way a lot of people who have violet in their auric field are seekers I, that's it's like wow a lot of seekers that are violet all right magenta 
that um, comes around the ears and it's about the clear audience and you know this is also combined with the throat but this clear audience magenta color you know you can open up this magenta this this energy field with your hands you can just imagine that you're tuning tuning up your clear audience you can spin over it you can open you know, open it up all right and then there's white and silver and i can i think of those as connection to the heavens you know we have silver threads um, that that connect us to our higher self white i just feel like you know the heavenly realm the uh, the angels in in that opening the opening on the on the crown chakra all right so and there's more you know and you might make your own key you might draw the color go inside and see how it feels to you okay so how do you work with colors um and i think of every day pretty much when i'm choosing choosing what i'm going to wear when i choose my jewelry i think what color do i need today to wear um and I do tend to go toward blue just because I'm a blue life color and I that feels at home to me so I, I use I do use a lot of blues but so one way you can do is um you can imagine the color let's okay let's just pretend too sorry before I say imagine the color you might think I'm lacking a color like I know I probably lack red in my field I lack um orange and red I think but um so I can imagine wearing red but i can't but that has to stay um you know small bits for me to be comfortable so you can imagine that color when every cell of your body you can meditate on the on the color a uh, one color at a time you can meditate on your chakras when i meditate on my chakras which is the way i almost always used to meditate i don't really i'm not doing that right now but um what i would do is i would say a mantra when I'm with that chakra, like I am a being of red fire. And then I would go up, I am a being of orange fire. I'm a being of yellow fire. I'm a being of green fire and blue and purple and white light. And then when you met, at least when I do that, I can do that when I'm walking as well. And I usually, when I, I do 12 times, I say that over 12 times on each chakra. And I also have a mantra, I say, Om Harim Krim, Om Harim Krim, Om Harim Krim, and it basically means help clear the chakra, all right, and 12 times, and I just use my fingers to count every time. I do it when I'm walking as well. It's, it's, um, it's a lovely meditation if you don't have another one to go by. It's kind of like a, a basic uh, chakra meditation. Okay, you can also wear the color. Um, that will help energize that color into your system. Um, and then you can add gemstones or crystals into your field. I, you know, this is my Archangel Michael um, stone. Um, and I, of course, it's a blue ray. But, you know, you could, other rays, right? You can use pink, uh, um, pink quartz. So, you know, there's lots of other stones you can use. You can keep stones around you at your bedtime. They say you're not really supposed to sleep with stones, so I don't know you use your own judgment on that. Okay. Another way to do it, and this is a, a very fun way, and you can bathe in the color, you can get um, colored silks, and I have mine from many years ago when my kids were at the Waldorf School, and, I, and they used silks to play, and I'll, I'm going to get some now. Oh, 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 sorry, before I go into that, I want to go back to the meditate on the color. See this uh, violet flame? So this little booklet has a lot of invocations for the, for the color violet. St. Germain is on the violet flame. And people who use this, um, so I'll just say it right now, one of the ones I use when I meditate, it's almost, I almost universally use this every single meditation no matter what it is. And I'll say, I am a being of light. Help me seal your tube of light from ascended master flame called forth now in God's own name. Help me keep my temple free from all discourse sent to me. I am calling forth violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire, keeping on in freedom's name till I am one with a violet flame. Now, 
people that use that often report that other people see violet around them. So if you want more violet in your life, you can, um, this is violet from, this is really old. It's Elizabeth Clare Prophet. This is, you get it on Amazon. All right, now, if you want to bathe in a color, oh my goodness, you gotta first make sure it feels right, that color feels right. So you can lie down, you can have somebody else do it for you. Have them put colored silks, I, I brought some, if I can reach down here. Let's say pink, I'm gonna grab a pink one. Um, and let's just say you need pink in your throat. And as you're lying down, first of all, take it, feel like what it is off, and then feel what it is on. Does it help? Actually, this feels really good right now. You can do this to each chakra. What colors does each chakra need? Or is there just mainly one color? You could cover your whole body with this, right? And now, one way you can do it is have a flashlight. And it's nice to have a partner to do this. They held the flashlight over the chakra and just bathe in it for, it doesn't even take long, just maybe 20 seconds to get the flashlight. And I have a flashlight. <laughs> and hold it over the chakra. This is actually not feeling that good as I do the flashlight. Interesting about that. Huh. Okay. So you just feel, you can intuit how this feels for you and change the colors out. Try different colors and see. But what a lovely, luxurious thing to do for yourself. Doesn't cost much money. You can find, you know, any kind, wherever you can find the colors. It's good if you can see through it a little bit, like if you're trying to do the chakras. Um, but you can put as many colors as you want on. And you can use a flashlight. You could also use crystals over your chakras or wherever you want um, for that energy to, to really sit in. If you really want to bathe in it, do it for half hour. You're bathing in the colors of your silks or whatever color or whatever fabric you use and put some crystals around you or maybe on the chakras. Powerful and it's a luxury treat for yourself if you can um, manage to do that. Now, I'm going to read something. See if you can guess who the author is. It's not me. Well, you wonder why I always dress in black? Why you never see? bright colors on my back and why does my appearance seem to have a somber tone well there's a reason for the things i have on well there's things and that that never will be right i know and things need changing everywhere you go but till we start to make a move you'll never to make a few things right You'll never see me wear a suit of white. Johnny Cash. Powerful words. <laughs> the other day when I was talking uh, with uh, Kim from Intuitive You, and we were talking about the times now, the times that, are, that we have, that we're in, this new vibration, this new upcoming Warriors of Light that's happening right now. I saw an army of people, and this, um, it was covering the earth, and it really looked like we were going forward strong, like the strongest army you can imagine. It really felt that way. Um, warriors of light and not stopping, non-stoppable. There is no going back to the dark. We are a rainbow of light coming forth to light this new world that we are in. And it's time to show, show it to the world, my friends. Bring healing to your life. Be the spiritual, beautiful warrior that you came here for. Leave the night. Ne new era is here in the light. Everyone has a role to play. Join me in the rainbow clan of healing colors. All are grand. Love and light in gold, red, pink, and white. Orange, yellow, green, too. Turquoise, violet, and silver hues. All the rainbow, my, may they delight you today. 
winter is over, spring is here, darkness is ending, the brightness is beginning. <laughs> That's by me. Okay, can you tell? <laughs> now, everybody, I want you to be well. I hope this helps you. I would love feedback and comments. We're not finished yet, though, because I want to do the, um, the, ce the celebration. I wish I could play the song Celebrate, but I understand that that would be a YouTube uh, violation. And so my sister's husband sings, and so I have one of his songs. I hopefully it will work. And um, so, so if you want to join the rest of this video, you can. I'm gonna draw the names first of the winners for the um, uh, group reading and it will be a wonderful time. We'll be have a little sacred, some sacred moments together. Everybody will get a, a mini reading, and I'm going to be joined also by a friend of mine who's a medium, so it'll be two mediums and seven people. Everybody will get a reading, and um, it'll be a lot of fun. So the first names, I'm gonna, who, now the, I came up with the first six with um, people who had mentioned it early on to me. And they are, and then I have a drawing for the second, for the last person. They are Judith Garten. Oh, I'm sorry. I should just say G. Martha. Um, Carrie S. Robin A. Carol B. And Diane B. And by the way, I have everybody's email except for Martha. So if you think it's you, Martha, Email me, okay? Now we're gonna draw one more um, name. And I only have three more to pick from, so it's a pretty high chance here. <laughs> and then, by the way, after this, since my first goal was 100 subscribers, yoo-hoo, thank you guys so much for being a subscriber. So we're gonna have some fun with this. Um, when I get to 500, then I'm doing this again, okay? So, um, by the way, when we meet, in this group meets, we're gonna, meet probably the end of April, and then the next group will meet in May sometime. But I'm going to just switch these around. I don't really know who's who in here. And it's Okay, I'm going to pick this one. Cassandra M., you are the winner to be in our celebration mediumship circle. All right, so now we're going to celebrate, guys. And I'm going to embarrass myself. <laughs> Join me if you want to dance. It's a country song, and uh, we're going to do the daily routine with the dance, with the song. And let me see if I can get my computer back. Uh, I have to play it on this. Sorry. Okay, and this song is called Robin Trains. And we're dancing the daily energy routine. Okay, you ready? We're gonna heaven to earth. Other side. And again. Heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. Now we're gonna reach away down. Come on up now. Come on up. Come on up. Back to those taps. Almost. <laughs> We're just do some more figure eights. More figure eights. All over the place. Here we go. Tapping. And now the K27. You're stomping your feet for that K1. Thymus, spleen. Now we're going to go to the belt flow. Belt flow. Oh my goodness. I know I'm embarrassing myself. Now do hearts, hearts, hearts. All the way up. Let the energy come up. Woo, big hearts. Woo. <laughs> Now, get those hips going. Hips, here. 
Open up that root and second chakra. Sorry. All right. Now, now here, well, yeah. Let's see. We're going to do our Celtic weave. Hands, fingers, going all the way down to the earth. Hoo now, pick it up here. Grab the energy by your ears. Now, we're going to breathe in. Out, in, out, and down to the ankles. And all the way up. Woo! Now, how about a crossover? And if you want to do really big ones, woo! Oh, well. I don't know if this matches, but that's okay. Now, anything you want to do. Celebrate, guys. Woo! Okay. Are we done? All right. Let's do just some figure eights right here. And the hookup right here. Okay, now freestyle. Woo. Trains. You ready? It's about to end. What is it? It's time to. Get on home. All right, you guys. See you next time.